I can make a hypothesis that there are some stairs behind the bookshelf um, entrance thing. I um nani o suru ki daro to machutsu ga rami da ki daro hey daro ki daro do you intend to do something yeah it does mean that and here he's talking about um the magician he sees with the white hair and the gold black rose with gold um kazari. Hi. Um then he said kito machutsu machutsu garami garami da kito kito meaning just that magician just just a moment ago that's a good guess but that's not what kito means i think you think about saki saki no magician this isn't magician as well it has so if you look here majutsu shi this is just majutsu shi means master so we took off the doer part of this what do you think majutsu means um majutsu mean magical technique yes and garami means about. So it's about magical techniques for sure is what kito means. For sure. So, for, for sure. So, kito. So, hai. Ore wa machutsu shi no deishi nan da kara. Um, oi kake. I am magician apprentice, therefore, I become a magician apprentice. Where'd become from come from? Nandaka. Ah. Na? Naru? So that's not Naru. Naru. So in they what they what happened here is that they want to put no here, which shows that you're using your brain for something basically. And no, this version of no is not noun no, not the possessor no. So to show that it's a different no, it's not allowed to touch nouns without na acting as an in between. So if it said deshi no, then we're doing the possessor, but deshi na no. It's showing that we have the no of reasoning no, basically. It'll sh it, it's like the nanda. So, nda or no da. Nanda. Kind of like no de. Nanda. Nanda. No de. No de. Ah, no de is no. Hi. Because. So, it's a long winded way of saying nanda karami. It just means dakara, right? Because basically, the this is the more natural. If you just say deshi dakara, that feels kind of, I guess you could say like aggressive. There's no softener in here. So I would say like no and mm act as like a softener of showing that you're using reasoning, but it's like a soft way of doing it. Um, so when people speak in Japanese, they're going to hear I... this sound a lot. And this right here um, is very much opinionated. This is something the main character is thinking versus being just like a generic statement. So if I just said deshi dakara, this would feel like a statement, but that's like, like a generic statement. But instead, it's more showing that this is the main character's opinion. So there's no reason to translate as extra, like this is because, but that's why the na is here. It's showing that it's opinionated, I guess, kind of versus just like a statement. It's, it sounds human. Mm. Very human. It's a personal. <laughs> it's a personal reasoning. Yeah, it's, it's um, it's, I, it, it, it's it's a personalized form of, of reasoning because. rather than stating a fact that yeah. you know because the sun rises in the morning and thus and thus happen. Yeah. It's like that's you, a you fact of nature. You can use this no though. But he's saying like, here, oh, 
I just want to like make a point that you can use this for real facts, but it, ha it has to be like for a reason. For example, if you just found out that penguins can't fly, you would use no don that kind of pinginga to tobu no. I don't know. Tobe dare do. Tobe dare do no. Stuff like that. I am not good at making up sentences in my head, mm. but that would show your human of like, mm. wow, that exists. So it just it just kind of shows like your human ness to it so if you don't mm. care at all and you've known for a long time like you've known this for years that penguins can't fly you wouldn't put that now there because it's not like wow i just realized this so it can be used for like new information mm. that you realize it just it just means it sounds human <laughs> very human all right it, it 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 has a feeling this nah nah i had a feeling of uh I'm talking to myself. Sadly, no. It's you know, just, I guess nah, that, that is what it is. Uh, but specifically, it's the marriage counselor between mm and deshi. Mm and deshi. For example, mm. if this was a verb, which it could be a verb, there'd be no na here. You could say um taberu dakara. Right. Do in dictionary in form and have ndakara like that. And that's grammatically correct. Uh, probably wouldn't say that exact thing, but you will see this n and no with verbs. The na is here, the same reason why there's a na and no de. So when you say, deshi na no de, supa ni ikimashita. Because, this is because the of the noun. Yes. The noun requires that na. Hi. And the reason why it acquires that na kind of is so that we know this no is not possessional. It's the same thing like when we have ga and like the kata here as well, you know, this da is here to mark this kata is going after a sentence rather than going after a noun. So this extra thing right here is marking that this no has a different grammatical function than um, like yuka no kabe. That's like a nonsensical sentence I said. I said the floor's wall. Um, but the no that goes between nouns. I guess here's one in the sentence. Ana no yo. That's a different no than the no here. So it's like a way to mark that grammatical difference. Mm. Doa no do mayuri. Not the possessive no. Hi. Wakata. Thank you. So he said here, hmm, because I'm a magician apprentice. Uh, it does have this hmm feeling to it. Mm -hmm. Right. Because I'm a magician apprentice. Oi kakete mite oka naito. Oi is kind of the motion of chasing or catching. Hey. Arriving. Uh, oi is to chase. Kakete. Oi is to chase. Okay. Kakete is like. Kakete is it's it is modifying this chasing. Right. To mean. Kakete adds a rushing feeling to something. Like to be it's running. Rushing feeling. It's a running, rushing. Because I rush. The chase was a rushy kind of chase. So I Hi. caught up. I rushed up. Are you sure that's what happened though? He's, let's see. And then he say, meet that. He say, meet that okara naito. So okanai. Okanaito, meaning he must do something here. He's saying, hi, hi. I have to. Uh, but what is this oka here meaning? Well, you have a I nai here. Oka. So this is either going to be, you have two possibilities. This is either going to be okaru, if it's a do verb, or it's going to be oku, if it's an u verb, right? Those are the two possible options since we're ending with nai. It could be anai or just nai being dropped from a do verb. 
Okaru, I don't think is a word. It doesn't sound familiar, and I but I haven't looked it up in the dictionary. Oku though is to do in advance, which is used to kind of mean what? Do you remember? Oku. Hi, oku. To do in advance. So oku to do in advance do is in used advance. grammatically to mean you should do something. So I must should meet that. Well, I got to meet that. Do in advance. I got to meet that. O oku is to, to do in advance. Hi. But here, here is oku nai. Oku nai to. Hi. Meaning I have to do in advance. Hi. Altogether, meaning I must. I must see if I can chase and catch up. That is a really good guess. So when we have the kanji for mite, it's almost never going to mean to try. Um, and the the try version of mite normally doesn't have kanji. Uh, if there is kanji, it's like theoretically, I think it's like wrong. It's kind of like if you give the iku kanji to te form with iku, that's also wrong. You're not really supposed to do that. Same with kudu. You're not supposed to give these guys the kanji when they're being used as a grammatical marker of something. So to try miru, which conjugates as mite, um, is not really supposed to have the kanji because then it gets confusing when you read it. So here it's saying, I have to chase and see because I'm an apprentice. I have to chase and see because I'm an apprentice. I have to chase and see because I'm an apprentice. Okay. So um the isoi de pari ga ne o tori dashi um doa no cho mae Yaburi Hori Kakata So what is he saying here? He's saying um hurry I hurry I I I I hurry <laughs> I hurriedly um Dori Dashi Toridas um, from Toridas. Toridas to go through. Nope, that's told to, to, to take. Start O here. Tori from Toru, not um, Toru. Toru. Toru Toru. So he Toridas. No. Tori, to take out. Tori, Tori, yeah, this means to take out. Tori was to go through, to take a path. So when you hear a long O, that's a path one. Tori, it's just Tori, which is to take. Yes. You see no O in there. So he took out the harikane. That um, that needle. The uh the the pick Waya. the lock pick, okay. and he doa no shoku. I mean, he show my yaburi from ni tori kakata. So tori kakata is take and then kakata, which mean um mean he uh. He he takes and then he he started. Yep, started. He takes me. Kakaru means like to begin to, something, uh, basically. So theoretically, this would mean like to start the take, but it's used to commence something or to start something. So he starts joma yaburi, specifically of the door. 
the door. So he break the lock of the door. He, he probably he lock pick, and he um he thought mewad parano no, and here is uh the decoration, which pronounced as um ka katari so it's kazari. Kazari, okay. Kazari boy, Kagi, um, Kagi daga, daga, Ranji, Tado, Boruto, mm, No, Ko, Giri, Ba, O, Skatta, Kota, Mm. Da, something da. Okay. Well, you saw this kanji da. earlier, right over here, and also way up here. Do. Do da. Jo, hi. Do da ga. Luck. Um, Do. Just so you know, the katakana Do. words here are names of locks. Name of lock. Ranchi. Taro Boruto. I wonder what that means in actual English. Uh, Sounds like fra fra Frank Franchi Franchi Sutaro Boruto. I don't know. They might Stark be real lights. Chicken. This is interesting. It's so hard to read katakana. So hard. Ranji. Uh, so porto is referring to the seated rock. So a lock that would have that in it. Oh, these aren't rock types. These are things used in a lock, which makes sense considering this was listed here. That is, um, this is um, serration. Uranji. Lanji, the true ridge. It's a flange. 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 External or internal surface increased strength. Hmm. Duration. Duration. Yep. Okay. So here. Oh, it's a serrated leaf lock. So let's start here mm. with Joel. Joel my yaburi. Joel da. da, da. So here he's saying he uses a mm. he uses the skata and then he kota. What do you think this kota mean, Moni? Um, so skata is not I. I do not skata anything. Uh, so we'll ignore the bottom half for now. Can you tell me what the first clause means? Mita me wa tada no kazari poi jo da ga. So the I is only tada is merely. Good guess. So uh, even though no. I is me, mita me is basically what you saw, like the appearance of something. What I see with my eye, mita me. me. Image that I saw. Image, image. So mita me wa tada no. And then we say decoration was kazari. Hi. Kazari boy. Jodaga. Hi. What does that mean? So the lock that was decorated um, with the image that I saw. That's an interesting translation. Um, 
I was like, I just like, want to see like a better word than decorated. I'm not really saying it's like decorated, like that means it's English. Um, but basically, the thing that I saw, right? Wa. Mita me wa. The appearance. That's our topic. The appearance of what? Well, we're talking about the jol, right? So I could see a lock. What kind of lock did I see? Well, it was tada. It was a plain old lock that was kazari poi. So this lock was kind of like this kind of look. It looks like a plain old fancy lock. Looks like it's kind of maybe godly um, decorated or something, but it's not like it's like a fancy looking lock. Then we have a ga here. What does ga mean? Guys, however, I so what I could see was like a gauzy, a, like a stupid looking lock, <laughs> like elaborate, like not like elaborate, but like fancy looking. That's a plain old fancy lock. However, this lock. Right? Another sense. This lock is kota. Kota is um like kind of made with. It is sophisticated, the word. So rather than just being a fancy mm. looking lock, it is actually a falsificated lock. So it's complex this lock is. This lock is using stuff to make it into a complex lock. What stuff did this lock, lock use to be complex? Kogiriba. Along with... Yeah, kogiriba. A serrated, you know, uh, flange. And some other mechanism called so, so. sutaro bodru. Exactly. Start boat. So a lot of locks don't have all of these items in them. They might have maybe like one of them or something. So even though it just looked like a weird fancy lock, it didn't, it just looked like a plain old lock. Like pff, I could do this with my eyes closed kind of lock, but it actually was quite complicated. It was, so it's both pretty looking and complicated. Yeah, lock, lock, lock vocabulary is hard. Hmm. Hi. Um. Mio she. Mio Um. Mio. Iki o Suzume. Uh. Ya. Ya. Subayaku. Yo. Subayaku. Subayaku te o ugokasu uchi ni yo yo yaku hari gane um kabitato um hamate do a nob ga mawata. Okay, so you so know it's say... it just so you know this is the particle for the previous one which is hard to see. So harigane ga pitarito pita pitato hamateita. Tato tato harigana pita pitato wa matte do nobu ga mawata. Shizume. Ikio shizume. I'm guessing he say he hold his breath, right? It's basically what it is. It's a slightly different than holding your breath. Specifically, he's restricting his breath, which is kind of like holding it. But like, it's being like careful with the breath, if that makes any sense. Um, let's see like what words, they don't have a word for it. But like, suppressing, that was right there. To suppress, Isume. controlling his breathing. So it's basically the same as stopping your breath, but they do use the specific word that means to stop breathing, <laughs> to hold your breath later. Uh, but it's basically mm. the same thing. At least in English. Probably. So I'm guessing he trying to do some fine motion with his hand. So, so. So, so as not to interfere with his fine motion, he slow down or he control his breath. Hi, hi, hi. Um, so first he, 
control his breath. Then he subayaku teo. He nimbly, quickly, his hand. He move his hand. He ugo kasu. He move his hand. Uti ni. While he's holding, while he's controlling his breath. And then yo yaku. And in that way, right? Yo yaku. Yo yaku is finally like at the end. So it doesn't have to be a yeah. long period of time, but that that's like the it could be quick. Uh, I think the, the the time insinuation doesn't have it. It just means like at the end of uh this action. Hi. So yo yaku at the end. Harigane ga bittari wa. Your go first reading was right, so hamatte. Because remember, pitatto, with the to right here, tells us that this um, is a sound of right, right? Pitatto, with a glottal stop and a to. So it looks extremely, and um, sound effects, adverbs, do not take the particle wa. Pitatto. Hamatte. So he, he do something mm -hmm. to the doorknob. Hi. Um, so actually, um, no, he does this thing in the doorknob eventually, but the object of this sentence right here is the topic of the sentence, kind of, which is the lock. Well, specifically, it's the harigane. The hanegane ga pitatto hamatte. And the location it's been hamatted was the jo. Um, hamatte is like to stick into something, kind of. It's like, uh, what what exactly is it? To have it fitted into something. So, what do you think pita adds to that? Uh, pita to hamatte. I'm guessing it's a good fit. It is it's, a good it's, fit. It's like it's snapped in. Hi, hi, hi. So, like finally, the, into the groove. wires kind of... So, and a little click noise was like right there, which then caused the second thing to happen with our new topic, kind of, which is doa no buga mawatta. The doorknob rotate. Hi, 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 hi. Yep. So originally the lock was locked, but then while holding his breath and moving things with this very complicated lock, he he managed to unlock it and do that. Um, so uchi ni is not necessarily modifying the iki o shimezu. I, it, it, like, most likely he's doing both these actions at the same time, but it's not actually literally stated there. Because, see, we have a comma here which kind of mm -hmm. separates this clause and the second clause, kind of. Um, so it, it doesn't necessarily see, like, it's just like, it's well, so I hold my breath. And while my hands are moving swiftly, is kind of what it's saying, though Uchi's not really while. In this case, it's kind of saying, during this time, I finally managed to stick the thing pitarili, and then the door turned. Kind of, that makes sense. While well, he was ugasuing. Hi, hi, hi. So in this case, basically, this uchi mm. kind of means like the very end of the of the action, even though uchi doesn't have to mean the very end, but that's what it's insinuating through context. Because uh, the item would not have hasamud unless he's uchiing. So like the action needs to be being done in order for the other verb to occur. But most likely he stopped moving once he did the action. <laughs> that logic makes sense. Mm. So Uchi is oh, used when you have an action. Sentence. Uchi is used when you have an action that's occurring, and then you want to stop talk about a random point in the um, action that occurred. So the, theoretically, it could be at the beginning, could be at the middle, could be at the end, and wherever that point is is kind of context based. So the context here 
It's the point at the very end. But theoretically, it doesn't have to be the point. But that's why you, you use uchi rather than nagara. Because nagara, as a while, insinuates like kind of like more like during. Like these two actions are happening at the same time. Like... Like while walking, mm. I eat food or something. Like you're do. It's not really talking about a specific point in there. The ideas of the whole thing. So that, that's how those are like a little bit different. Um, but uchi is hard, so it's hard to translate it nicely. And last line on this section. I uh doa o chotto agatte no. Zokikomu Yosh Daremo Inai Zoteo Gake Soto is another sound effect. I mean softly. Door softly, I get that. It's open. I no zoki zokomu. And and who is who is gonna doing the nozoki komu? Well, here? who do you think I get the door? Khan is gonna slip in nozoki komu. Oh, so. It's a slip in. Nope. Uh, nozoku is a word you tend to have issues with. Um, which is the peak. So oh. definitely you gotta go write that down and practice it a little bit more. <laughs> I think I say like every day. <laughs> cause it, sh it shows up so much in the book, but it it's hard because it doesn't have the kanji. I feel like if it had the kanji, it's like easier because no um zoku has uh the miru kanji in there. So it's a little bit like, oh I see the no, eyes. No, but, no, no, no. Yeah, no zoku, no zoku, no I get zoku. it wrong so many times because this no, this no, no at the beginning keep remind me of like getting on a train or something like that. Ah, like nori, like nori, 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 nori or something. Hi, 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 hi. Yeah. No zo. It mess me up. Nori no zo. Zo. Zo ki. Yes. Zo ku, komi. Okay. So that's a peak I into. In. Which is like on the other side of the door, I... in other words. And what did he see? I see. Daremo inai, no one. Okay, there's no one on the other on the other side of the door. Just awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna stop Just. sharing, and I'll see you real soon.